Hello, so today we're going to talk about the action potential. In the previous in the previous lesson, sorry, we talked about the resting potential and we said that the resting potential is the difference in charges between the inside and the outside of the nerve fiber at rest. Today, we're going to talk about the meaning of action potential and the different parts of this action potential. What's the meaning of action potential? The resting potential was at rest. The action potential, she يعني action, يعني هون أنا عم بحكي عن there is a transmission of a nervous message. So the action potential with the difference in charges between the inside and the outside of the fiber, but this time during the transmission of a nervous message. So resting potential at rest. Action potential, there is a nervous message, okay? Keep an nervous message in a fiber. So, suppose you know, this is a nerve fiber, joint axon, and this is the electrode that is recording the action potential or the charges inside the axon. Stimulation. So if this axon was taken, for example, from a hand, stimulation nervous message, for example, touch, for example, pressure, for example, high temperature, any shit, nervous message, stimulation. Okay? So after I make that stimulation, there must be a nervous message. What I'm going to do is to record this nervous message and like should be planned whenever you have a nervous message that is transmitting inside the fiber you will not obtain that resting potential you can constant on minus 70 millivolt not anymore you will obtain this drawing Haida some me action potential so كل مرة بيكون عندكم هيدا اللاين الكونستانت على المينس 70 ملي فولت بتعرفوا انه انتم عم تحكوا عن resting potential however if you have this drawing we are talking about an action potential and this nerve uh, fiber is transmitting a nerve message okay so what's the meaning of action potential it's the difference in potential where between the inside and the outside of a nerve fiber but not at rest, not at rest, while this fiber is transmitting a nervous message. Okay? So, what you have to know also is the different parts of this uh, action potential. So, you simply have to memorize them. So, here we made the stimulation. This increase in the potential difference is called depolarization this decrease is called repolarization this part the blue part is called hyperpolarization and then we are back to resting potential that is constant at minus 70 millivolt okay so whenever they ask you to schematize an action potential you have to draw this and to label this and don't forget sure to write down the title which is action potential so what are the parts of an action potential depolarization the green part repolarization the orange part and hyperpolarization the blue part so after uh, watching the two lessons resting potential and action potential please i'm asking you to make a table where you compare the resting potential and the action potential Thank you.